Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, ETOS, and by Gentex. John, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Jay Iyengar. I'm the Chief Technology and Strategic Sourcing Officer for Oshkosh Corporation. And Oshkosh is an industrial technology company serving everyday heroes, those who have the most difficult jobs, like the refuse collection, postal workers, uh, military, firefighters, all those vocations where people, you know, they are the ones that move the world forward from that sense. So we, so we serve everyday heroes, that's what we do. And here you are at CES, First why? First time we are at CES, really excited. This is the melting pot of technology. We're really excited about showcasing our technology what we do and you know being an industrial technology company it's about time we showed up to the the world's largest technology stage that's out there we've participated at ces before i've been here before i've spoken on panels but this is the first time we have a booth to showcase who we are and our thought leadership on where we're how we are transforming our end markets with technology and that is the kind of our so Jay, show us the highlights. What do you have yeah, here? So let me show you. So, as a, um, let me start off here with uh, the airport of the future. Um, the airport of the future. Yeah. So Oshkosh has, uh, you know, part of our business is we are. If you want to just look at the videos out there, um, we are a um, the leader in ground support equipment. Right. If you just think of. Um, when you came here, right, when you got on the passenger bridge, came out, this is probably an Oshkosh passenger bridge, we have 80% market share for passenger bridges in the country, actually. <laughs> and um, if you, what the vision here is to have a perfect airport ter aircraft turn. Um, so what I mean by that is, have you ever uh, been stuck on a tarmac and the boarding bridge wouldn't deploy and you know, your luggage came in late. Just think of all of those things that are, at the end of the day, a perfect aircraft turn would, you know, save you time, save our customers money from that sense. If you think of what is required in an aircraft turn, right, the aircraft lands, there's aircraft operations, the one that actually pushes and pulls the aircraft and de-ices the aircraft, that's one. Then you have, you know, baggage handling, whether it's loading or unloading, lifting and transporting the baggage. Third is the passenger management, people that are going in and out of the, air, of the aircraft, that's a part of it. Then we have aircraft utilities, which is off uh, board power for the aircraft and HVAC for the aircraft. And overall fleet management. All of these things have to really work almost in, uh, in unison for a perfect aircraft turn to happen, right? If you think about it. Delays in any one of these operations will delay the aircraft turn. And if you just think of how do we coordinate all of these things, this is a vision of an entire connected system where, uh, and where, where, where one of our customers, like the airlines or even the airports, have a full visibility into all of the ground support equipment. They have, they, they're able to make some data, AI controlled, database decisions that they can make in terms of what's going on and really making sure that they optimize the aircraft coming in and leaving the, leaving the you know, so that they can ma maximize their revenues and obviously passenger disruption. And it's one of the hard, they, have, they also have issues with finding the uh, proper labor. There's a labor challenge in the industry as well. So figuring out a way where you can apply AI, autonomy, technologies to make sure that the difficult jobs are semi-automated is that to make sure that it, these things happen more efficiently is what this whole IOPS technology that you see here is. Well, I think anybody who's ever flown would love what you guys are working on Absolutely. because we've all run into delays at airports and the airlines are going to love it too because you turn their planes faster, they're saving money. Saving money and actually there's a, the, every minute that they're delayed, it costs them money. They can actually yeah. measure it in terms of that. And the jobs are hard, John. If you're looking at the de-icing that needs to happen, even the, uh, uh, let me show you one yeah, yeah, yeah. up here. Yes. So this is a technology where we have, uh, we're using autonomous technology to, to dock the jet bridge, right? A jet bridge is a building moving towards an aircraft. If you think of, think of it's not, it is a building that moves towards the aircraft. 
to line up that jet bridge perfectly by the uh, by the air. There's it, it, a lot of manual operations, and many times people are not trained to do that, right? And uh, there is personnel issues. There's people on vacations. So you, many times, I'm sure you got into the airport because there's nobody there to deploy the bridge, jet bridge. So we're applying AI technology where the jet bridge recognizes the aircraft. It knows where the door is and automatically deploys with a push of a button to, to dock, the, almost get very, very close to docking that bridge to the aircraft. So Jay, when are we going to see all this? I mean, All of these technologies are here and now. We are working on deploying them at various times. Everything that you see in our booth, you can many buy of right them now are today. here now available. Let me show Fantastic. you a few more things. Yeah, yeah, and Dude. we also show you a vision of the future as well. Let's so go. this is a part of this thing. Oh. Here's another vision of it. This is an autonomous baggage handling. Uh, <laughs> so many times a cargo goes from a fixed route from the aircraft to the building, right? Many times, or it, it goes between aircrafts. Very prescribed routes. This is a perfect scenario for autonomous, fully autonomous systems. Yeah. And this is the technology in development. You're going to see that out in, in the market in, in a matter of few months out, out there. This Fantastic. So none of these technologies are far reaching for the, in terms of, uh, you know, they are just, you know, I would call them the near future technologies that you're seeing here. The automotive industry continues to evolve, and so do the opportunities to define it. Borg Warner, one of the world's most admired companies, gets its partners where they need to go. Let's do something big, together.